So uh, people have pointed out this uh, dynamic epistemic logic puzzle about Cheryl's birthday uh, to me, and I thought it would be nice to explain it using actual dynamic epistemic logic and a Kripke model. So uh, here we see a Kripke model of the situation. Um, so here are the possible dates that are mentioned in the puzzle. And uh, uh, what we know is that Albert uh, knows the month. Uh, so we can't distinguish these three dates, which are all in the same month, but have different days of the month. And Bernard knows uh, the day, uh, but doesn't actually know the month. So for example, uh, May 15th and August 15th are indistinguishable to him. Uh, now what happens in the puzzle is that Albert says, uh, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is. Uh, that's actually true in the whole model. So for every date, there is an alternative for, for L. So this doesn't actually give us information. Uh, Bernard does know uh, the date, and if it were, for instance, May 19th, uh, there wouldn't be an alternative for uh, Bernard. So, so here, if it were May 19th, uh, Bernard would know. The same is true for June 18th. Uh, Bernard would know the date if it were June 18th. Uh, for all the other dates, there's an alternative for Bernard. Now, what happens is that Albert says, I know that Albert, uh, I know that Bernard doesn't know. So, actually, it can't be May, because in May, Albert would consider it possible that Bernard would know. Also, it can't be June. Because if it were June, then uh, Albert would consider it possible that Bernard knew. So by saying that uh, he knows that Albert doesn't know, that means that actually May and June were excluded. So uh, let's update the model. And let's also update the accessibility relations. And And we see that there are only actually uh, now uh, five possible dates remaining. And what we see now is that after uh, Albert has given this information, that actually Bernard would know here, and here, and here, because in all those three possible birthdays, there's no alternative anymore for Bernard. So uh, what Bernard then says is, uh, at, fir that at first, he also didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but of course, he already knew that because that's what Albert said. But he says, now I do know. So that means that actually we're left in, in one of those three possibilities. So these, these are now excluded. Right? So there, now there are only three left. And what Albert now says is, oh, but now I know. But if it were August, then uh, Albert wouldn't know. So uh, those are excluded. So let's update the model again. So the answer must be uh, July 16th. 